I'm here in the busy city center of Banda Aceh, and it was here on this street corner where some of the most graphic video footage of the tsunami was recorded. On the street behind me, the tsunami surge came flowing up the road channeled between the buildings. Watching the footage, we see that the leading edge of the tsunami was actually slow enough that people could escape simply by running or walking. However, this part of Banda Aceh is very far from the ocean, and people simply didn't know what to do. As the flood depth increases, so too does the speed of the flow, until there's no way to escape unless you can get to high ground. That's what the person who shot this video did. He climbed up over here. And he lived. However, thousands of other people that day could not get to high ground, and they ended up dying in the waves. The tsunami wave came right through here. These are very sturdy concrete buildings, and many of them weren't knocked over by the tsunami, but rather the water flowed through them, between them, and actually channelized the flow and made it speed up and get deeper in some areas. The water here didn't 
go past the, the first story. It was all pretty much less than about eight or 10 feet deep. So in terms of escaping, a lot of people could have gotten away just by getting up to the second story as the cameraman did at the corner. 